Hi friends, this is me, Potato Patty, too mad. Uh, too mad means I eat two meals a day, and potato means I eat two pounds of potatoes a day, sweet and white. Okay, that was me three years ago. And that was me three years ago, yes. 99 pounds down, and I regained my health and mobility, as my name suggests. Hello, my friends, my lovelies. 20 after 12, I'm a little late getting going this morning, today. I was fast asleep, but I told Richard he could wake me up this morning and help him with his second COVID test. So, that's what I did, and then I went back to bed, and I went to sleep, I don't know, I catnapped after 10 o'clock. Until 20 after 11, so, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. And um, my uh, masher, I like it because it curves around like that, goes around the corner of a round pot. I don't think I've ever seen another one like it. <clears throat> okay, patty, uh, potato patty, too mad, from her kitchen in Nova Scotia, Canada. I had my medium shirt on, so that's going to bug me all day. Because <laughs> I asked for yellow again, and this is what I did. It looks like green, lime green. Gotta get the soup. Okay, in my bowl today I have sweet potato, uh, cabbage, I see a few pieces of, a uh, couple of bites of carrots and red peppers there, and tomato and the rest of my taters from the other day. So now I got my big soup here. Can't really, I'll have to put it in this. But, uh, get out of there. <laughs> There's a humongous soup I made yesterday and I spilled, well I didn't spill it, it came in, come in the doorway and fell on my hands and elbows and knees and, but I kept the pot, had this cover over it and, uh, but I saved the pot of soup. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. For me, that is a big, big thank you because of my sensitivities to smells. Microwave, five minutes. This medium top is long enough. Can't forget to show off my pretty earrings. They have little uh, yellow stones and green stones. Tomorrow's my doctor's appointment. He's gonna he wants to talk to me about my vitamin B12. So maybe I am low in it. I have to take a supplement. I have them here. I just wanted to know first. I don't want to be taking stuff that I don't need to take. Yeah, I got this here 
ground up uh, zucchini, carrots, and radishes I'm going to put in. There's my fork I bit off the other day. Garbage. Oh, This one's hard for to close these flaps. I call them ears. Huh. Mingling and marrying. I'll put some pickle juice. No pickles, just juice today. That was quite a little splash, but that's all right. Mingle and Mary. Let's see, there's cabbage, turnip, carrots, white potato, sweet potato. And the zucchini and uh, carrot, raw carrots and raw radishes all mixed in after. And my squirt of pickle juice. It's going to be the first bite going in. Mm hmm. No cats. There's a better shot of my earring. I'll go over and sit over here. There's the cats, Missy on the window, Callie, we can just see a piece of her toe. I'm going to have a peaceful brunch here today. I'll put on my blue ring too, because blue, I love blue and yellow together. Yeah. Okay. I'm caught up on my videos. Well, maybe I'll watch just Nina. Something about a gooey butter cake. Butter cake. Okay, she's not making it. She just got a piece of it there. Well, I don't know. Maybe this she's gonna make it after. No. She's just uh gooey butter cake. Just Nina. That's her uh, uh, name. There's mm. the butter cake. You ready? This was made by Schnook. Um, 
when Captain Stay was in St. Louis, they got their gooey butter cake from MacArthur. Now, can't, I can't, uh, have I introduced sugar and salt and flour and, uh, oils and fats back into my diet, I'll be sick again and I will, and I won't be able to stop eating it. So, I don't want to go back to eating anything that, I watch other people eat it though. If it doesn't make them sick, well, that's good, I guess. I got one little scrape on my knee, about as big as my thumb fingernail, but didn't bleed, but it hurt. Oh boy! Took me a few seconds to say to myself, "Okay, you're all right. You're all right. You're all right." And then I realized I didn't break anything. So after a few minutes, I slowly got myself up, picked up the pot, put it over there safely. Oh, this is good. I got Richard's soup ready and he took it to work with him. He'll eat the soup all week, just like I will. Mm -hmm. Good thing we don't mind the same thing. Day in and day out. <laughs> and leftovers. When it's half done, I might put, uh, I don't know, uh, oh, I forget to put peas and corn. But I might put in um, another can of tomatoes. A can of mushrooms, because I forgot to put in mushrooms. And you see me yesterday, I almost forgetting the coleslaw and the onions, sorry, peppers, all cut up, frozen. All right, I did uh, warm up exercises with uh, Sunny Virtue. She, I, she. Made a comment on my one of my videos, and I went over and see what she was all about. She's an exercise person, lovely lady. So I, well, young woman, young girl, no woman. Um, so I went over to see what she's all about, and subbed to her channel. So. Those of you that have been with me for quite a while, you can see I'm not much into regular exercise like normal people. I just do it when I feel like it. And then I did a few more while my uh, brunch was heating up. Um, just ones that I already been doing now known. Um, I think somebody the other day on one of the videos I was watching they said that their posture is getting better because the weight they're losing, and that's what happened to me. I feel taller. I look taller, but I'm not taller. <laughs> If I can find the picture, I'll put it somewhere here. One picture of me are bent over. And it's because of all that weight I had on me. Mostly on my front. Dragging me down.
Anyway. I don't know what else to talk about, so uh, this is just going to be a quiet day. Yesterday I had a lot to edit and get out. So you supper time. This was my dessert. I had to cut up quite a few uh, pieces of black off of that. And I ate four of these snap peas. Now, yeah, Missy. Stop that scratching. She bit me a minute ago, so then she turned around with her tail to me and her head down that way. <coughs> See, I don't sneeze unless something's... A scent is around me. There's another one coming. <coughs> it's only me here, but still, I still like to sneeze in my arm if I have to sneeze or cough. I only cough when I'm around some kind of a scent, too. Anyway, I eat my lunch. It's 20 to 2. I'm just going to lay here, and uh, right now I'm watching... Um, uh, what a, wait a minute. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How can I? Amberlynn. I knew it was something, Lynn. Amberlynn Reed. And I'm just going to lay here and if I fall asleep, good. If I don't, I don't. Rest in the body anyway. I did have a big day yesterday. And I did have that fall. Oh my heavens, people. Oh, how could that have been so much worse? Could have broken my kneecaps, and I know younger people than me that fell down on their knees, like, out shoveling snow, or, and they were laid up for a long, 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 long time, and I don't know if it's ever the same, and younger, much younger than I am, but anyway, I'm not bragging, I'm just very thankful. Anyway, after I broke that bone, and, uh, little bone on the outside of my left leg, above my ankle um yeah after that i had a bone density test done and they said i had the bone density of a teenage girl so anyway you don't have to drink milk and eat cheese and all kinds of yucky uh whatever they're allowed to put in their products to get calcium so anyway so that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> it's the dairy industry that's allowed to tell you that and make you think you need it. I always have to cover my ear because my ear gets cold. <laughs> I got on this flannel shirt, and I got on long these long thermal pants that I wear. Ah, oh, there's Missy. <laughs> Hi, Missy. Are you going to get grumpy and leave, too? <laughs> so... Yeah, I always have to cover my ear up when I'm laying down. If it isn't my shirt, it's a blanket. Oh, yeah, that's right, too. I woke in the middle of the night, and I was awake for a couple hours. So. Anyway, and then I got out this morning to help Richie with his, his COVID test, his second one. They're sending them home with the self-test thing. they got to put it up their nose and put it in this liquid and put it on this here thing. Same principle as if a woman pees on the thing and it shows if you're pregnant or not or anything he better not come home pregnant because <laughs> mm, it won't be mine i've been fixed <laughs> 1983 i was fixed and uh yeah 1983 83 or 84 or 80. yeah one of them years anyway and then I started wearing track suits, and I remember eating a, a liter of ice cream. Well, I don't know whose birthday it was, but anyway, the freezer let go in the, the little, uh, who was living in a travel trailer, 26-foot travel trailer. We thought we could live in a small space. It got small, or fast. Anyway, uh, that's a long story. I can't tell the whole story. 
But anyway, the ice cream, the freezer let up and I ate the whole liter of it. And I was wearing track pants and track suits or jogging suits, whatever they call them now, I don't know. But anyway, and the thing about those is, with elastic waistbands, you can't really tell if you put on a couple of pounds. Because they grow with you. Anyway, so, yeah. That was the start of my downfall. So it took me about approximately 35 years to gain 120 plus pounds. Because I lost some in 1999. And when I look back on that, I was eating rice and beans and vegetables and no meat. Not because I was vegan, but just because that was the most healthy for me at the time. So I was trying to detox from chemicals, so I didn't want to eat meat with hormones and antibiotics and stuff. And trying to get organic rice and vegetables. Anyway, so, yeah. I forget what I weighed then. I think 157. But I don't know how much I lost, because I don't remember how much I weighed before that. Oh, maybe 180 or 87 yeah so well that would be 30 pounds so anyway I lost that and regained it plus more so anyway yeah that's my story and I'm sticking to it uh, <laughs> sounds like I hear the boom and of you know what music sounds like when it's loud in a car Can't be Richard home because the cats would let me know. Wouldn't you? Would you let me know? Say hi to the camera. The people love you. Now scratch your head. No biting. I can't see what I'm pointing at, so. <laughs> I never can. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to relax and rest. and I'll be back later. <laughs> First time I saw her under there. Missy been under there. Stop it. There's room there for both of us. Missy, just turn around and face the other way. <laughs> they were squabbling before I got the camera out. Callie's going to be pushed off up the bed. Move over. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Richard called. He was able to get the pieces to uh, fix underneath the sink, so hopefully that'll be fixed. Oh, it's quarter to five. I might as well get up and. I've just been laying here being lazy bones. What are you guys gonna do? No, it's only mummy getting up, Callie. Don't be afraid. <laughs> it's been thundering all afternoon. No rain, but just thunder. Roll, roll, roll. Rolling thunder. <laughs> Missy. <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay, good girl.